Welcome back to the next episode of Night in the Woods. It is part three, The Long Fall. Let's see if we're going to tell the guys about what we saw last night. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hey dude, sorry couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today, because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Bright Harper Post. Is Autumn secretly killing you? It, it's mm. not a secret, but so are all the other seasons, so don't worry about it. Alright, I wonder if there's any more reason to go into the crawl space, now that I've got that tooth. Do to do, we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like, real-life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs? I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head-on. You're not losing it, dude. You're in fact keeping it. Very close. Ah, uh, you're not gonna tell anyone because you think you're crazy. You're just like, the same every day? What is your bird existence like? I'll take a peek in here, but I have my doubts that there's anything more to do in the crawl space. Chat has asked me to make sure I keep doing the rooftop checks, because apparently there's a good side quest somewhere on, so I'll just have to keep doing that, is all I have to say. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different, huge and spooky, making weird noises at night. I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Huh. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. We had to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. Hey, Han. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Hey, Han. Hey, Mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Grey and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, Han. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mum. About all of it. Hey, May? You okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or, I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later, I'm still like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past, let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this? Why? Because the bank took advantage of us, and now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. What you reading? 
It's a book of unsolvable murders. Do they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Wanna hear a real teaser? Sure. We do not got a jet. Talk to mum. Alright, there's a man lying dead in the kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing. The dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? You should have been a detective. Yeah, I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. What kind of scar does the dead guy have? A straight line a few inches across, hidden under the hair. Huh. Okay, I think I got it. Well, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has the scar. And the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand. Yep. I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. Alright, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Man, this game's rough. It's a very, very good game, but it is also rough. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. New zone! Alright, let's check it out. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. I hope I don't stumble into anything. I want to explore everywhere. Just to sit, huh? Okay. Bridge freezes before road. Welcome to Historic Prossum Springs, original county seat of Deep Hollow County. You're not lost, you're here! After this, a few miles and you go under the highway. And it's just rolling fields and farms. I missed the corn mazes this fall. And the haunted barn in Brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Weird that town ends like, bam, right here. There's like a line somewhere that no one can see, but you can put it on a map. All right, that's the end of that line. Cool. Let's get back to exploring. Mint. Very good. So, those three kids asked me if I'd seen a shipwreck, a ghost, or a arrow in flight. I've seen the ghost now. I'm pretty sure it must have been the shipwreck. I don't think there's ever anything up here. The next screen's sure, but not up here. Man, this game is good looking, by the way. I just want to take a moment to appreciate this game's visuals, because goddamn. Can see Penderson's house from here. What a ghoul that guy is. He has hated me forever. Just because I put an M80 down his roof gutter. I mean, it's just petty, this grudge. That was like forever ago. An M80, I think it's a pretty big firework? Check the ground level. You never know. You never know. But there's nothing. Alright. Probably not a good day for stargazing, but at least we can chill with Selmers. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real? 
then had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Yes. Autumn winds, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station then blowing it up? In November? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Mr. Chazakov! You're Silma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. I guess Mr. Chazakov is up there. Huh, how about that? Mrs. Varnish this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Sup, Mr. Chazakov? I'll be up shortly. I just have to go over the top. Ooh, it gets misty up here. That was a bad jump. I needed to do a triple jump off of there. Whoops, Daisy. Okay. One, two, three! The good jumps. Miss May Borowski! Present. Mm, smell the autumn winds! Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah. Come have a look. How did we even look at the sun? It's overcast. How are we get it? This is your own fault at this point, I would say. It is unreasonable that we would keep getting got by that. That we would keep getting got by that. Found one. Let's see. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. I saw a big snake once. At the zoo? In scouts we were hiking. And one was sunning itself on a rock. What a treat! I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villagers. What villagers? You know, villagers. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn! Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake! Big snake. Big snake. Big snake! Big snake is my favorite constellation. Where's our next one? There it is. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide! Oh, you will like this one! Really? Because they are dead! Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Turn the medium! In life he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? It's just called being alive. <laughs> Not so, his body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So like normal, but he smelled bad? Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb. But impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral? Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day! Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazakov. 
Willikus! Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was! More in a couple days? Big Snake! Gramercy. Ghost. So how many stars are there? What? I mean the ones we're looking for. Should be a few left, but who can say? We can only point our telescopes and look. Alright, see Mr. Chazkov, it was real. Man, this is a hill you've got to hike up. You do this every day of your life, you build some legs. What are we going to be doing today? Band practice with Greg is popping. Aside from that, no idea. Band practice episodes usually- Band practice made for a really long episode last time though. So maybe this is the episode I successfully split, I don't know. Delicious pretzels. What's poppin' kids? Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so? What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh... You should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. Let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Uh, that's a weird thing to just tell some kids, May. I mean, I get why you said it, but it's also weird. Alright, let's swing out to the scene of the crime and see if we can get some details. Some details. Hey! Hey, dude! Hey, you? Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question. How do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. I don't think yes actually, May. Is the thing? I don't think actually yes. Sure. Mm. Hey. Sup, kid? You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cop. You'll never half catch me, half copper. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You got a half vest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Dunno. We're not like good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, a uh, thrash crossover, hip hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? Da 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 Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like, a guy from the tracks? What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude. Take this turn out of the parking lot, and start creeping up the hill. Like, 50 feet back. But, like, I didn't want to look right at him. Ah. I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but, like, I could see him standing just off the road. Waiting for me to come down. Oh my god. 
Holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah! Yeah, it was like a weird bad time. Ugh. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. Any sign of what? Yep. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. Tell me what you saw again? Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Uh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this! This right here! This is a report! May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing... <sighs> Any theories, May? Going around the fence? I don't know, May. The fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence? Ugh. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I, you, you, ah! Are you trying to kick off a mor horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yes, I don't know! I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up till up there this morning. Because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress, we saw some worried looking deer, and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies! We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Alright, let's go chill with Greg for a bit. Kind of relax after that experience. Hmm. My stream looks like it should be dropping frames, but it isn't, which is weird. Am I still live for y'all? Oh, chill with Greg. Anyone else going on in here? There's never anyone else in here. Sup, dude! Uh, uh? Long night. Weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool! What you up to? Just saying hello? Just saying hello. Hello! Alright, catch up with you in a bit, Greg. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my stream must be dead. I'll check it out later. It's wet again. I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh... Why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Hmm. Alright, since chat asked me to always keep an eye on the rooftops, we will keep an eye on the rooftops for a bit. Whoa, I managed to fall down there. That's weird. My incident is being reported as offline, so I'm not entirely sure why I'm def I'm convinced I'm not reaching Twitch right now. Maybe Twitch is busted. Oh, well, that's something to look into between episodes. I need to check up here, which I am doing a hilariously bad job of doing. There we go. Really? 
Whoa! Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. I really want to check the upstairs zone here. We need to look. We need to check it out. I don't know why I'm failing the jump so much this time, but we are going to do it. Goodness, what is with today? That's more like it. Okay, and all of this for absolutely nothing going on out here. Hang on, did I just see a pop-up? No. There is a pop-up up there! How do I get up there? Hang on, we absolutely need to investigate whether I can somehow get my ass up there. This is suddenly mission critical. There was definitely a bubble pop-up when I got close enough up there. How do I do it? No, oh, it's from here. Nope. I'll give it one more go and if I can't get in there, there must be something that lets me get up there later. There's something going on up there. Yeah, I can't get up there right now, but there will definitely be something. Angus! You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. I'm live! Okay. No, no, um, I said that, like, five minutes ago. So... I'm not getting dropped frames, but my upload to Twitch is so slow. It's... Twitch is being weird, I think. This is Twitch's end. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Hey, Bia. Hey, uh... Thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still, like, putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day? Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. You gotta go through the bottom to get up there? Okay, we'll see in future times. Let's keep it rolling. Probably up here we're going to run into the city council again. They're around every day. Alright, what's popping in the church? Hmm. Nope, no one here. Alright, let's go talk to Mom and then go see Pastor K again. I think the way I'm going to do videos is I'll record a day in one video, but
but if I think it's going to get really long, I'll just leave like a blank space for a few moments to split it later. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously. No one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well... <laughs> Alright, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hon. There is more grace than condemnation. Kinda, whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Alright, let's go check on Pastor K, Bruce, and maybe the city council. When's this guy gonna start breathing fire? It's important. Pastor K! I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's just wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Uh, that's because you're a good person. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza. I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south. And I had to keep up with the other gooses. Or I'd get lost. That's sad. It's one a good dream. What are you all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. I hope so. Me too. I feel for you, Bruce. Alright. Those kids out here again? Nope. Just had to check for an icon pop-up. Alright, let's head back to Greg's. That's everything, right? I'm sure that's everything. No, wait, I wanted to check the rooftops in the next screen. That's fine, I can do that pretty easily. Love the leaves. They're good. They're good leaves. And the branches and that. This is just such a good-looking game. The team? Is this a team game or an individual game? Whoever did it, they did a damn good job, and that's my hot take. Hmm. Alright, I can get up there. Two, three. I think these are supposed to be weather stations? Pioneer scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. I don't think I've been up this high yet. And yet you can always go higher. Hey! Did you go to Harfest? Yeah, uh, ended up in a play, because my friend Bea screwed it up. Cool, I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Cool. Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from, like, 1980. Lots of blood, but it's, like, theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school. Bunch of ghosts kidnapping them, taking them to the... to the Blood Gorgon? Yep. Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Uh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. 
Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see someone messed up in the mural You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah. Whole town full of suspects. Hmm. No, I need to jump. Jump button. Hang on, I can definitely triple jump my way up there. Give me a second. And we are, let me try this one first. All right, let's give this a go. One, two, three. Screwed up. One, two, three. Kitty cat, taking a nap. I don't think I can get any higher than this. I'll try a triple, but... No, I can do it, actually. Never mind. Uh, used to sometimes see other people up here. Is this not a thing anymore? Am I just old and out of touch? Whatever. It's awesome. I'm going to put up a tent and camp out up here. Would definitely roll off and die. Roof cat is correct. Queen of the world! Alright, where to from here? Um... May? May, did you just break into someone's house? Why? Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Bloomingro snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they cancelled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell! Mallet deserves a better memorial. Plastic flowers alike. Super depressing. For some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard forever. Hey, is this the spooky thing from your dream? You... Yeah, you took the bat to the mallard in your dream and crushed it. Mallard P. Blumengrow. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten, but I found you. And I know you're here. It's still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Mallard, you're pregnant! It's one of those God things! Like when you have a baby because God? Holy crap, you are the cutest vermin! Who's the best vermin? You are! You look so hungry. Is that why you're, um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die!
I hope I can bring them food. I'm not sure where I'm going to find food, but I hope I can bring it to them. It's locked. What the hell? That is a fire hazard. No, seriously. Is this thing is... No, seriously. Is this thing is clearly marked as something it is not. I'm coming back for you, exit door. And we're going to have a little chat with my boo. Worst exit. Easily. Hmm, something down here I can't open. Intriguing. All right, let me hit the stairs. There we go. All right, we're gonna have to check back here in future. What else can I check out that's around? Nuke Possum, Possum Springs, 87. Whoops. No, I gotta follow the electric lines. Man, this uh pre-band segment ended up being a lot bigger than I thought it would. Yeah, chill. Is the head of that guy missing? Suspiciously missing head. Alright, that's that for that. Man, 40 minutes already. That's going to make this a long episode. I think I'm going to make the executive decision to cut it now, like, manually. Physic- well, not manually, because manually would be in an editing program. We're cutting here, and next episode we'll go to band practice, and whatever comes after that. Alright, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.